Hello and welcome to another Spotlight Photographics webinar tutorial video. Today we'll be covering the custom poster PSD templates, specifically the Tronic poster located on Custom Posters Volume 4. And we'll get started. When you open up the poster template for the Tronic, you'll notice that it already has the images uh, preset on here for the examples. Uh, this is for two reasons. One, that you can actually print an example uh, or a sample uh, right away without having to actually have images yet. And the other is to uh, give you some guidance uh, for uh, different things that may have happened to these images. For example, this background image here, if you notice, uh, that layer has a color overlay applied to it. And if we turn that on and off, you'll notice how that changes that effect. And we'll show you what to do with this in just a moment. So to get started, uh <coughs> we were going to go ahead and replace these images with our images and the images we're going to replace them with is going to be a softball player and it's going to be red so we'll be changing this whole theme from the uh, standard purple that it is in right now to a red uh, so to get started we're, we're going to just uh, we'll use the first image on the top so we'll select that layer and uh, it's very important that you select that layer first so when you bring in your picture it's going to sit where that is and the reason for that is sometimes they're going to be behind different layers uh, to get the effect, for example, the background image here. So with this one, we're just going to select that image so that we're right here, and we're going to drag in the image we're going to replace that with. So here's our image. We already had it extracted. Uh, we use the uh, extraction service that's located on our website at spotlightphotographics.com. Uh, it's $2 per image, and uh, they do a really good job there. So we're just going to go ahead and place this image right here in that spot and we'll place that. Now we can get rid of the image that was behind it so that we know we have that where we needed it to be and you can always adjust things. You can move pretty much everything around on these posters because everything is in uh, different layers that way you have uh, full control over what you can do. And at this point I'm going to go ahead and rasterize this image on CS5 and above you'll have to do that. Um, anything below that you'll actually when you drag something in it'll actually make it another tab and you'll have to do another drag uh, into the template from one of the tabs at the top. But uh, at this point, I'm just going to do some layer uh, levels on here. Just make her look good there. Now we're going to go ahead and do the background image. So I'm going to select that image over here on the palette. You'll see it right here. And before we go ahead and get rid of this, I'm going to right click on this and we're going to say copy layer style. And the reason we're going to do that is we're going to copy everything that this layer already has on it. And now uh, the other posters or things that we make uh, have this same kind of thing. If you see an image that already has something done to it like this, uh, before you bring yours in to that spot, go ahead and copy the layer style. And what that's going to do is it's going to copy the percentage of opacity and also the uh, color overlay and the way that it, that it works uh, on that template. Um, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and bring in our new item. And with this one, I actually am going to increase this so that it's mostly the face on this one. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and increase this one way up so that it's up here like that. And go ahead and place that image. Now at this point, we can go ahead and remove this layer here because we did right click and say, copy layer style so we're going to go ahead and remove that layer and we will of course rasterize this first and we will paste the layer style here now obviously that other image was black and white first so we'll need to just desaturate this image uh, the quick key for that is just holding down control shift and U and you can see that it actually is purple right now uh, that's because this color overlay if you double click on it will show you that we had the purple selected for that. So to change this to red now, because that's the color we're going to be wanting to use for this team, we're just going to select this color on that color overlay and select a red that we like. Now at this point we need to change the rest of the colors on this template because it's obviously not blending very well because these other purples are back here. So on the layer palette over here what we're going to look for is different layers that have a color overlay option on them and you can always use the eyes next to these layers and turn them on and off to see what layer that's actually talking about and as you can see there are a lot of different layers 
um, and that's really so that you can customize these. If you don't want, for example, this graphic down here at the bottom, you can turn it on or off. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and change these all over. So I'm just going to go down the list, click on the color. We're going to change these to red. And we will just continue down the list of color overlays. And if you want to get creative, you can change these different colors. Uh, you don't have to go all the same color. Um, but to get this exact same result that we had on the original poster, I'm just going to go ahead and make these all red like they were purple before. So again, just clicking on the color overlay and clicking on the color at the palette and just changing that to red and just going down the list. And you can see how it's actually changing a, a, a pretty dynamic look now that we're actually getting the right color in here. And sometimes the colors aren't going to work right um, and you just want to kind of mimic these around until you have them right. So now we have that look that we wanted before and we still have a layer up here at the top that has a color overlay of purple as well. So we're going to change that as well over to the red. So there we go. Now we have this thing completely switched over to the red. And now we're just going to go ahead and change the text. At this point, all you have to do is just select your text tool on the right here and then just select the items and change them to the numbers that you want. Um, I think well, we're going to say that she was 19 and change the title here. We got catcher. And again, that's that's what it was, but you would just highlight and change that. And the same with all the rest of the text. We'll say that this was actually uh, the guy's sister that was on here before, so we're just going to say her name is Amanda. Now you can see that that didn't fit. So once you apply that, we need to shrink this down a little bit. So we're just going to do a Control T, which is a free transform, and we're just going to drag and squash this in just a little bit, and now it looks good. And of course, just change the rest of the text. And if you want, uh, a lot of people ask me, how do I get the fade up on the feet? Uh, say, for example, you didn't want this to to be completely on the uh, the bottom there, and you wanted to bring her up a little bit, but you wanted it to fade. All I do is just take the eraser and make the brush quite large, and then just sweep across the bottom. I've got my opacity down pretty low, so we'll just sweep across the bottom and just fade her up. And that's pretty much it. At this point, you would just save it as a JPEG, send it to your printer, and it's ready to go. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to contact me. Uh, you can hit the Contact Us link on our website at spotlightphotographics.com. Uh, and again, this was the Tronic poster located on the Custom Poster Volume 4, located on our website uh, in that volume. Uh, www.spotlightphotographics.com. Thank you very much for attending this video tutorial, and we look forward to seeing you at our next one.